so the next topic that i am going to discuss is online pricing strategies okay this is topic of uh, subject web technology and e-commerce the code for this subject is kmbit02 okay so this is also an important topic uh, that i am going to discuss okay so these are some uh, references that you may refer for further study first is your textbook and rest are some good blogs regarding the topic okay so we will discuss about this uh, pricing strategy and after that uh, we will discuss about the online pricing strategy okay so what are the, uh, what is pricing strategy basically setting uh, the right price for your products is a balancing act means uh, pricing uh, is uh, that uh, that gives you profit okay means uh, uh, how much uh, profit or revenue you will get that is uh, decided by uh, putting price uh, on your product or service okay so that is a balancing act if uh, the price of your product is too high then people won't be able to buy your product like miss products okay and which means lower sales and the low sale means uh, less profit and your business won't be able to cover up basic expenses okay so if you set a low price of your product or service to compete in the market and get maximum market share perhaps you will maximize sales and achieve maximum market share is doing so but you are sacrificing your profit means you will lose your opportunity cost okay opportunity price over there or opportunity profit over there okay so your profit uh, which uh, covers up all of your fixed and variable cost and expenses so at the end your company would end up crippling down to its feet so this is the problem basically to set down the price so you need to set a right price uh, of your product or service okay so that is basically a pricing strategy so pricing strategy pricing strategy is an activity or the process which any business do to set the price for their products or services okay so some factors for pricing are like input or raw cost of products okay second is variable cost third is production and distribution cost means these are some factors of pricing that you need to take in care of while setting the price of product okay trade margin is also there segment account is there customers capability to pay is there okay means you need to focus uh, means uh, how much uh, uh, amount customer uh, will be able to pay okay and uh, market price of uh, same purpose competitors price is also there so these are some factors that you need to consider while uh, uh, while uh, devising uh, price of your uh, product or service okay so these are various uh, pricing strategy as per this uh, blog okay so pricing strategy see here penetration pricing is there freemium pricing is there premium pricing is there pricing is coming is there economy pricing is there bundle pricing is there psychological pricing is there promotional pricing is there dynamic pricing is there and pay what you want is also there in some models okay so these are some pricing strategies that have adopted by different types of companies okay so we will discuss few of uh, these pricing strategy in this uh, presentation okay so uh, just a minute so the first type of pricing strategy that i am going to discuss is what is retail price okay so choosing the right pricing strategy for your brand is the retail price many retailers benchmark their pricing decisions using the keystone pricing keystone pricing is what which is essentially doubling the cost of product to set a healthy profit margin means uh, uh, what is keystone pricing if uh, somebody wants to uh, set a keystone pricing means simply double the price uh, you have uh, got uh, something in 50 rupees then you will sell it in 100 rupees so that is uh, simply applying the keystone pricing okay so however in many instances you will want to mark up your product higher or lower depending on your uh, specific situation okay so this is retail price so here is an easy formula to help you to calculate your retail price so retail price is equal to cost of item divided by 100 minus markup percentage multiplied by 100 okay so for example you want uh, to price a product uh, that cost you dollar uh, 15 means you have purchased it in dollar 15 
at a 45% markup instead of usually 50% if you want uh, uh, that uh, means uh, if you want to mark up it at 45 percent so here how you would calculate your retail price so 45 percent means uh, uh, cost of item is dollar uh, 15 divided by 100 minus 45 multiplied by 100 so that would be dollar 27 means you should uh, offer it for dollar 27 for your customers okay means you have marked up uh, in place of 50 percent you have marked up it into the 45 percent means simply applying keystone pricing you have applied 45 percent markup so that is basically setting the right retail price of a product okay next is uh, while this is a relatively simple markup formula this uh, pricing strategy does not work for every product in your retail business so uh, uh, because every retailer is unique okay so you uh, you need to decide uh, the price upon different different uh, uh, scenario okay based on different different scenario okay so uh, next is uh, this uh, manufacturer suggested retail price sometimes uh, manufacturer prints uh, price over there okay mrp is this okay means maximum retail price is this so that is uh, basically manufacturer suggested it okay like uh, amul uh, wants to sell a product so uh, a mool company will uh, print uh, MSP of milk is uh, 45 rupee liter. Means you can't sell more than 45. You may sell it up to 43 or 44, but uh, you can't uh, sell it more than 45 rupee per liter okay, of milk. So that is basically manufacturer suggested retail price, MSRP. So as the name suggests, no pun intended, the MSRP is price a manufacturer recommends retail users retail use when selling a product. So manufacturer first started using MSRP to help standardize different prices of product across uh, multiple uh, across multiple uh, just a moment across multiple locations and retail. Okay, so. Uh, so manufacturer first started using MSRP to help standardize price. Basically, they need uh, they are standardizing uh, different prices of product. Okay, means uh, they want that uh, every person should get uh, uh, the price at standardized rate. Okay, so retailers often use the MSRP with highly standardized products, means consumer electronics and appliances. Okay, so that is basically the MSRP manufacturer suggested retail. So what are the pros and cons associated with uh, such type of pricing? As a retailer, you can save yourself some time simply by using the MSRP when pricing your products. Okay. So retailers that use the MSRP are not able to complete on price with MSRP. Most retailers in a given industry will sell that product for the same price. Okay. These are the pros and cons associated with this MSRP means uh, you can save yourself some time simply by using the MSRP when pricing your product. Okay, so uh, that depends means uh, how much margin your uh, manufacturer is offering to you. Okay, you are totally dependent on manufacturer. So that is uh, the means uh, uh, cons associated with it. Okay, but the uh, pros is that uh, uh, manufacturer is safeguarding your uh, price part means uh, you uh, like uh, as a retailer as a simply uh, means uh, you have just started uh, retailing then uh, uh, manufacturer is safeguarding your interest basically and uh, they are mentioning the price over there okay so these are some plus point and uh, some cons associated with this msrp next is keystone pricing as i have told earlier that uh, simply double the price of product is known as uh, keystone pricing so this is a pricing strategy that retailers use as an easy rule of thumb so essentially it is when a retailer would simply double the wholesale cost they paid for a product to determine the retail price okay so now there is a number of scenario in which the price of a product using keystone pricing may be too low too high or just right for your business okay so this is a key, uh, keystone price if you have products that have a slow turnover have substantial shipping and handling cost and are unique uh, or scarce in some sense 
then you might be selling yourself short with keystone pricing okay if uh, means uh, overhead cost are much more higher uh, uh, associated with the product then uh, in that case you will get a lesser margin if you simply apply this keystone type of pricing so in any of these cases a retailer could likely use a higher markup formula to increase the retail price for these in demand products okay so on the other hand if your product are highly commoditized uh, commoditized uh, and easily available elsewhere using keystone pricing can be harder to pull off means uh, you are just simply uh, simply putting uh, double price okay and uh, it is easily available in nearby location uh, in uh, your uh, competitor shop okay and uh, then customer will get it uh, in lesser price than you are offering okay so in that case you will face problem uh, associated with this keystone type of pricing okay so this type of scenario is also there so what are the pros associated with this keystone pricing the keystone pricing strategy works as a quick and easy rule of thumb that ensures an ample profit margin okay but uh, cons is depending on the availability and demand of a particular product it might be unreasonable for a retailer to mark up a product that high okay if you are uh, uh, in case of as i have told earlier in case of uh, this uh, uh, in case of uh, this scenario as i have told earlier okay, uh, you are having uh, extra overhead cost and uh, in case of uh, this uh, product is highly commoditized okay so in that case you will face some problem okay associated with this keystone pricing okay next is uh, this uh, multiple pricing means bundle pricing we have all seen this pricing strategy in grocery store but it's common for apparel as well so especially for socks underwear and t-shirts with the multiple pricing strategy retailers sell more than one product for a single price a tactic alternatively known as product bundle pricing okay so generally in malls you may see this uh, bundle pricing strategy so what is that means uh, make a bundle of uh, similar type of products okay and uh, to uh, sell it off okay so that type of strategy is known as uh, this bundle pricing okay next uh, process associated with this bundle pricing retailers use this strategy to create a higher perceived value for a lower cost which can ultimately lead to driving larger volume purchases okay and cons kya hai when your you bundle product up for a low cost you will have trouble trying to sell them individually at higher cost means if you have uh, uh, sell it uh, at lower cost once then uh, while uh, you selling it uh, individually at higher cost you will face problem so creating the cognitive dissonance for consumers okay so this type of problem is associated with this bundle pricing okay next is penetration pricing and discount pricing so it's no secret that shoppers love sales coupons rebates sales pricing and other related uh markdowns okay so that's why discounting is a top pricing method for retailers across all sectors penetration pricing is basically adopted by a new entrant in the market means uh, uh, he or uh, means uh, that company will enter through the uh, through lower uh, his uh, uh, lower its profit margin uh into the market to uh, make uh, their market uh, value or market position okay so other related markdown and uh, that's why discounting uh, is a top pricing method for retailers across all sector so there are several benefits to uh, leaning uh, on discount pricing uh, the more apparent one included include increasing foot traffic to your store of loading unsold inventory and attracting a more price conscious group of customers okay so uh, these are some uh, points uh, associated with this penetration pricing and discount pricing okay so what are the pros associated with it uh, process uh, the discount pricing strategy is effective for attracting a larger amount of foot traffic to your store and getting rid of out of season and old inventory generally uh, you see the board of sale 
so what is that basically they are uh, providing discount okay they uh, they want uh, just end of season sale is there out of season or old inventory you want to sell off your uh, old inventory so in this case you may adopt this type of pricing strategy and what is cons associated with it if uh, used uh, too often it could give you a reputation of being a bargain retailer and could hinder consumer from purchasing your product for regular prices means uh, in case once you uh, uh, frequently or regularly you are offering discount uh, then uh, in case of uh, regular uh, prices customer won't buy your product okay so that may be uh, cons associated with such type of pricing strategy okay so penetration pricing is also a marketing strategy that's useful for new brand essentially as, as i have told earlier essentially a lower price is temporarily used to introduce a new product in order to gain market share the trade off of additional profit for customer awareness is one many new brands are willing to make in order to get their foot in the door okay so uh, that is basically uh, advantage of uh, introducing penetration pricing or discount pricing okay next is uh, loss leading pricing what is loss leading pricing we have all done this we walk into a store lured by the promise of a discount on hot ticket product okay but instead of walking away with only that uh, product in hand you ended up purchasing several others as well so if so you have gotten a taste of loss leader pricing strategy with this strategy retailers attract customers with a desirable discounted discounted product and then encourage shoppers to buy additional item like uh, generally uh, vishal is offering uh, that uh, 1 kg sugar is free or 2 kg sugar is free or 5 kg rice is free or uh, some namkeen is um, snacks is free okay or some tea is free associated with the different slabs of purchasing like if you buy of rupee 500 then you will get uh, that much uh, so that is basically loss leading pricing okay means uh, you have lower down uh, the price of a particular product okay for the customers okay so that uh, they may be attracted towards purchasing and they will buy uh, some other products to encourage shoppers to buy additional items okay so this type of pricing strategy is this loss leading pricing okay so a prime example of this strategy is a grocer that discounts the price on peanut butter and promote complimentary product like loaves of bread jelly jam and honey okay additional uh, products are also there na so that type of uh, strategy is this loss leading product pricing okay so the grocer might offer a special bundle price to encourage customers to buy these complimentary product together rather than simply selling a single jar of peanut butter okay so this type of uh, pricing strategy is this loss leading pricing strategy so cross uh, associated with this type of strategy is this tactic can work wonders for retailers encouraging shoppers to buy multiple items in a single transaction not only boost overall sales per customer but can cover any profit loss from cutting the price on the original product okay so it may be uh, fruitful for retailers okay but uh, cons uh, are similar to the effect of uh, using discount pricing too often when you are uh, uh, over huge uh, loss leading prices customer come to expect bargain and will be hesitant to pay the full retail price means uh, if uh, if customer uh, purchases uh, such type of uh, uh, prices uh, means such type of discount then uh, he or she will uh, refuse uh, to uh, buy product in uh, regular prices okay so that may be cons associated with this type of next type of uh, pricing strategy is psychological pricing you charm pricing to sell more with odd numbers studies have shown that when merchants spend money they are experiencing pain or lo loss okay so it's up to the retailers to help minimize this pain which can increase the likelihood that customers will make a purchase so traditionally merchant have accomplished this with price ending with odd numbers like 5 7 and 9 psychological pricing like uh, instead of giving uh, a product in 100 give it in 99 okay 99 store or uh, some uh, uh, 399 just uh, giving in 
place of 400 so this type of uh, pricing is psychological pricing so for example a retailer would uh, price for a product at 8.99 instead of dollar 9 that is psychological pricing okay playing with the psychology of your consumer so pros is what uh, charm pricing allows retailers to trigger impulse purchasing ending prices with an odd number gives shoppers the perception that they are getting a deal and that can be tau to resist okay and cons are what when you are selling luxury goods lowering your price from whole number like uh, dollar 1000 to triple nine point nine nine can actually hurt your brand's perception means uh, those uh, people they are uh, means uh, they uh, they are uh, generally have uh, having habit uh, to give uh, to pay higher okay they may hurt okay so this pricing strategy can uh, give luxury customer the impression that the product are defective or the market market down for a similar region okay so that may be uh, the cons associated with this type of pricing okay another type of pricing is competitive pricing so what is that as a name of this pricing strategy suggests Comparative pricing refer to the using competitor pricing data as a benchmark and consciously uh, pricing your product below the years. Okay, so that is competitive pricing. So out pricing your competitors can influence price conscious customer to purchase your products over similar ones. However, this race to the bottom from a pricing perspective isn't uh, always the best strategy for your business and products okay so these are some pricing strategy that you may adopt so what are the pros associated with this competitive pricing this strategy can be effective if you can negotiate with your suppliers to obtain a lower cost per unit while cutting cost and actively promoting your special pricing okay but uh, cons are this can be difficult to sustain when you are a small retailer a smaller retailer okay and lower price means uh, lower profit margin so you will have to sell higher volume than competitors then only you will sustain okay so and depending on the products you are selling customer may not always reach for the lowest price item on itself okay next is premium pricing above competition pricing here you take the pricing strategy from above and go to the other end of the spectrum brands benchmark their competition but consciously price product above the years and brand themselves as more luxurious prestigious or exclusive for example a premium price works in starbucks favor when people pick them over a lower price computer like Dunkin's Donut. Okay, so in uh, in comparison to Dunkin Donut, uh, Starbucks prices are much more higher. So they are focusing on this premium pricing. They are focusing towards the niche customers only. Okay, so that is premium pricing. So a study from economist Richard Thaler looked at people hanging out on beach, uh, wishing for a cold beer to drink. So they are offered two options in their scenario. So this economist Richard Thaler uh, researched uh, over the consumer perception. So purchasing a beer uh, uh, at either a rundown grocery store or a nearby resort hotel. So the result found that the people were far more willing to pay higher price at hotel for the same beer. So that is basically the premium pricing strategy. Okay, means uh, you are targeting only to the next customers. Okay. So what are the pros associated with uh, this pricing strategy can work with its hello effect on your business and products. Customers perceive that your products are better quality and more premium due to the higher price compared to the computer. But cons are there. This pricing strategy can be difficult to implement depending on your store, physically location and target customers. Okay, so if the customers are price sensitive and have several other options to purchase similar product, the strategy won't be effective. So in that case, you need to uh, you need to devise your strategy as per the requirement of the company uh, uh, requirement of your customers. Okay, so this is why it's crucial to understand your target customers and do the market research. So this is all about the various types of pricing strategies uh, that you can use uh, while dealing with your uh, customers okay so thank you